Hey there, I'm back with one more power packed informative video on our channel. And after this video, I may get a lot of negative or hated comments. Because I'm going to enter a lifestyle which is favorite for most of the people. And with the title of the video, I guess you got an idea about what I'm going to speak. Yes, this video is all you need to know about consuming your alcohol. Because most of the people are having generic idea like uh, alcohol is harmful, it will damage our liver, wagera, wagera. But have you ever wondered how it's going to what to what extent it's going to affect on our health and how what are the uh, negative impacts it will put on our lifestyle? So let's dive a little bit deeper in this video and understand and I will be sharing some points, some uh, other effects which it shows on our health and Stay till the end of the video because at the end of the video, I will be sharing the tips how you can make this habit a little bit uh, less harmful and uh, what is the safe limit of consuming alcohol. Hi, this is Sanju Kaliwala, your health and wellness coach and on a mission to help at least 100,000 corporate leaders who are about 30 to 40 years of age to achieve their good health, to achieve their fitness, to achieve their longevity by applying all natural techniques. So without wasting time, let's do the video. This video can be a little bit longer and boring but I request everyone to reserve their seats for next couple of minutes because this video can act like a game changer for those who is practicing this habit in their lifestyle. And before moving further let me clear one thing. The intention behind making this video is not to create any panic nor is it to scare you into never touching alcohol again. And I am not here to encourage or shame anyone's lifestyle choices. This video is just to bring the complete awareness about the consumption of alcohol by which you can make uh, informed decisions which can lead to positive or negative impacts on your lifestyle and on your health and which will help you to live stronger and healthier and fuller lifestyle. So let me share my blackboard. Let me share what I'm having for you. So I named this video all you need to know about consuming alcohol. And the first point is my intention, which I already explained. My intention is to bring just awareness. Taking decision is up to you again. So before going and understanding how alcohol will affect our body or our brain, let us understand why it is so much addictive in its first place. Why people develop this habit and it turn into an addiction. Let me just explain what happens when you take alcohol. So when you take alcohol, there will be a dopamine release in your brain. And dopamine is known for short pleasure giving hormone, a happy hormone. So if you are taking alcohol on a regular basis, there will be a regular release of uh, dopamine by which you will feel like happy or good. But our body has a tendency to adopt whatever you give for a longer time. Like how you, if you give a workout for to your muscle for a longer time and they adopt it and after that how you need a progressive overload to see results in the same way if you are uh, taking alcohol on a regular basis and if you are uh, forcing your brain to produce more and more dopamine, there will be a certain stage where you will be becoming dopamine resistant. Means your body will stop responding to your alcohol and uh, it demands more. Your body's demands will increase. That means you have to consume alcohol on a progressive manner. You have to increase the intake of alcohol to increase the release of dopamine in your brain. That is the reason it is so addictive after certain stage where the growth will be on the peak and after that it will start falling down. And second, it you can know, you can call uh, alcohol as a stress buster because if in your body dopamine is high, the happy hormone is high, it will suppress your stress hormone which is known as cortisol but for a shorter time. In long run, this whole process will be reversed. Slowly, slowly, you will be becoming alcohol dependent and without alcohol, you will be not feeling good or happy because after a certain time, after regular consumption of alcohol, your stress level will be taking place of your dopamine. And coming to the third point, uh, social conditioning. As per this point, 
ये यंगस्टर ये यंग गाय विल डेवलप दिस हैबिट बाय इन्फ्लुएंसिंग फ्रॉम सोशल मीडिया और मूवीज और फ्रॉम द फैमिली इट सेल्फ वेयर पीपल विल बी एसोसिएटिंग अल्कोहल विद देयर रिलैक्सेशन फन एन्जॉयमेंट और टू रिलीज फ्रॉम द स्ट्रेस दैट मीन्स ये मोस्ट ऑफ द यंग पीपल डेवलप दिस हैबिट इंस्पायरिंग फ्रॉम देयर फैमिली इट सेल्फ और फ्रॉम फ्रेंड्स और फ्रॉम सोशल मीडिया एंड विच विल लीड टू ओवर यूज ऑफ द अल्कोहल इन द फ्यूचर तो दीज वेर द्यू थ्री रीजन्स थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन्स ड्यू टू विच पीपल विल डेवलप दिस हैबिट एंड दे विल बिकम मोर एडिक्टिव देर आर नंबर ऑफ रीजन बट टू मेक दिस वीडियो शॉर्ट आर आई चूज दिस थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ लेट सी हाउ अल्कोहल विल एफेक्ट ऑन यूर बॉडी एज पर जेनरिक नॉलेज पीपल नो अल्कोहल इज हार्मुल एंड इट विल डैमेज यूअर लीवर बट दट इज द डैमेज इज डस्ट यूर बॉडी नो it will do much more than that in that first one it will interfere with your brain and nervous system also and it will disturb your focusing ability your decision making ability and it will also disturb your cognition uh, uh, function and uh, it will also increase us anxiety in a long run and coming to gut health it won't stop here itself it will also affect your gut health means it will interfere and uh, disturb the absorption of several vitamins and minerals specifically your b12 vitamin will be affected due to your regular intake of alcohol which may lead to paralysis attack in our country which is a leading cause of paralysis attack in our country you may see many people uh, suffer from this attack in their younger age itself so this can be the main reason and uh, it will also disturb your immune system it will we can your immune system and invite so many infections and diseases which will make you unhealthy and which will affect on your health to next point let's understand how it affects our hormones hormonal functions so hormones are the drivers inside actually they will play a key role in managing your mood managing your weight and managing your metabolism wagera wagera so if you are taking alcohol on a regular basis it impacts directly the hormones specifically your master hormone which is known as insulin insulin plays a key role in managing your blood sugar levels in utilizing the energy storing the fat it has so many functions to do in our body and taking alcohol on a regular basis will directly affect and how it affects when you take alcohol there will be a sudden spike in blood glucose levels and uh, the sudden spike again lead to sudden drop also which means there will be energy crashes in your body which leads to fat storage specifically around your belly that's why many people will develop a belly fat who takes uh, alcohol on a regular basis second coming to the stress hormone if you are having alco- alcohol on a regular basis there will be a rise in the stress hormone which is known as cortisol it will disturb your sleep and it will leads to high stress which will directly leads to your fat retention and coming the third hormone which will also affected by alcohol is your thyroid hormone thyroid thyroid hormone plays a key role in managing your mood swings uh, managing your weight and uh, managing your good metabolism so this is also the hormone which gets affected and uh, which will lead to your bad health and for youngsters keep in mind alcohol will also affect the luteinizing hormone lh which is your reproductive hormone so that is the reason so many reproductive issues so many fertility issues are coming out nowadays so if you are a youngster before adopting this habit you have to keep in mind all these hormonal changes now alcohol is not only going to stop here it has a key role in developing some chronic diseases also the first chronic diseases which can uh, develop in our body due to regular consumption of alcohol is your cancer because alcohol is known as num group 1 carcinogen and uh, it will also affect uh, liver breast or esophageal pipe which uh, the pipe which is located from your neck to your stomach so these are the different cancers which can be developed by regular consumption of your alcohol and uh, heart diseases obviously you can see so many heart uh, diseases developing due to the alcohol because alcohol leads to fat storage the triglycerides uh, levels will increase it is also a leading cause of uh, high blood pressure which is the 
leading cause of heart attacks in most of the cases and it will also affect the kidney function because if you are taking alcohol on a regular basis on a regular basis you are putting some extra pressure on your kidneys to filter the chemicals which you have taken that means it will also affect the kidney health and kidney health will also compromise now let's understand how regular alcohol consumption will impact on your muscle growth so if you are a gym enthusiast looking to grow some good quality muscles or some kind of transformation or if you are a person who is trying to improve the health whatever your goal can be your muscles play a key role and your regular consumption of alcohol will interfere the protein synthesis which will lead to slow recovery or repair which will directly lead to slow down your muscle development and uh, you may face the problem of dehydration and recovery because regular alcohol consumption will absorb the water from our body and it will also lead to reduce the testosterone hormone production and testosterone has so many roles to do in our body and we all know the importance of testosterone how it is important to build muscle how it is important to improve our sex drive and so many uh, things it will also improve your bone health and it will directly interfere with the testosterone production and it will it will reduce the hormone production and it will also interfere in the production of growth hormone the gh hormone which plays a key role in developing a good quality of muscles so these were the effects of alcohol on your body now let's uh, see the tips by which you can minimize your alcohol in intake and uh, you can still enjoy the habit in that first uh, tip is setting a intention limit before starting before consuming the alcohol you can set a limit that you are going to have only this much alcohol train the brain to listen to you by which you can minimize your alcohol intake and by eating a good uh, balanced meal before taking your alcohol will also minimize the alcohol consumption and uh, alternating the alcohol with water means you can add more and more water to your alcohol so that you can escape uh, from the problem of dehydration so it can be like uh, for one drink of alcohol you can add two to three drinks of water and choose lower strength options means always search for the option search for the beverages which are lower in alcohol content so there are so many options available in the market you can choose from them so these were the few tips you can follow and you can minimize the alcohol consumption and you can see great health improvement now let me share what is the daily limit you can take as per studies is there any particular limit you can uh, follow you can add in your daily lifestyle so that you can safely add alcohol in intake in your daily routine so the yeah, answer is yes as per the older studies every man have to limit the alcohol limit to two drinks per day and one drink is equal to 45 ml of hard liquor which is higher in alcohol content one drink is equal to 45 ml so two drinks is 90 ml per day if you are going for lower alcohol options you can go for 760 ml means if you are going for beer you can take 760 ml beer on a daily basis and if you are taking wine on a daily basis it can be 300 ml per day and for women this every drink has to limit it to one means hard liquor 45 ml uh, beer can be 355 ml and wine can be like 148 ml for women and this all is as per the old studies so do you want to know what is the safe limit as per new studies let me share as per the new studies there is no safe limit whatever the quantity of alcohol you are taking there are some kind of complications you are going to face you may face due to that this was all about in this video again i am repeating this video is not to judge not to encourage anyone or not to shame anyone's lifestyle choices because living healthy unhealthy this decision has to be taken by you it's in your hands so always try to take informed decisions which will leave positive impact on your health and in your overall life and if you felt this video informative please do share with your friends who are having still confusion with their alcohol intake and do you want to know how much alcohol do i take on a daily basis please comment with the word h in the comment box i will definitely answer it and please do subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this in future so this is sanju kaliwala signing off see you in the next video 
टिल द टाइम टेक केयर स्टे हेल्दी स्टे फिट स्टे नेचुरल बाय